Control. What person doesn't want control? Think if you control how your audience reacts to the stories you tell. They will probably eat them up and give you their undivided attention. Think about if you could control how your audiences feel. You will probably make it to where they constantly want to see you and pay you whatever it is to hear you speak. Now on the opposite side, think about how it feels when you've lost control of the situation. It didn't feel good, maybe you felt embarrassed, disappointed, or even scared. I'm throwing all these out there because as a public speaker, you experience it all. From the highest of the highs that make you feel like you're on top of the world and can't be touched, to the lows of lows that make you feel like you totally bombed and should hang it up. Although we will go through all these emotions, as a speaker, it's very important that you make distinctions between what you can and can't control. Focus on what you can control. So for example, you can keep your word. You can remain accountable. This can mean numerous things like being responsive when communicating through email. This is key when you start out because when you're trying to get your first shot, you can afford to reply back to potential opportunities whenever you want to. On the other hand, the event organizer has all the leverage and can reply back whenever they want to. But you, it shouldn't take you longer than 24 hours, max. Being on time is another, and that really means being early and prepared. That means if you have to travel to another state, you don't wait until the day of the presentation to travel. Anything can happen. Surprise traffic or delayed flight can cause you to miss your gig. And this one is very important. Do what you said you were going to do. In other words, keep your word. That's how you make a name for yourself and earn respect because respect is everything in this industry. The worst thing you can do is lose the trust of people who are putting their reputation on the line to hire and bring you in. Speakers should never relinquish control of their presentation slides to another party, meaning as they're presenting, someone else is controlling their visual aid for them. Since you've designed and practiced with them, only you know exactly when you need to change them. Putting that responsibility into another party's hands is very, very dangerous because they always have to be in sync with you as the presenter. They would need to be in control of a major part of the experience for the audience, and that's very crucial. The two of you would need to have some type of signal in order to know when to advance the slides. If there's any lag in the response, it can mess up the flow of the entire presentation. Now, don't get me wrong because we've seen experienced speakers do this successfully, but it's not a walking apart to get to that point. It could have taken years for the speaker and their team to be in sync with one another. Plus, once you go through putting all that hard work of putting those visual aids together, it will take a lot for you to give that responsibility off to someone else, no matter how experienced they may be. If you waste time worrying about things you can't control, you could possibly be biting off more than you can chew. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna to be tough. You will feel the pressure and you wanna live up to that pressure. But don't let pressure cloud your judgment in a way that makes you feel like you can control everything because you can't. You may be used to controlling aspects in your personal life, but public speaking is more than just you and it's never really about you. It's about the message you can give and the impact you can make. Focus on the simple things like keeping a smile on your face. That smile will rub off on others. Be a speaker that's easy to work with. Word will spread and others will find it relieving that you've proven not to be a headache because event organizers deal with headaches on a daily basis. It's really the little things that work together to make a memorable experience. The more you can master those little things, the bigger your impact will be. If you found this tip useful, please like it and share it. Comment on it as well and let me know what you think. Until next Monday, my name is Julian Leonard and this tip was brought to you by the Jay Leonard Group.